is Monday, March the 20th, 2023. I am James. You are you. We are here to celebrate a monumentous and monumental occasion. It was on March 16th, 2020. This show began on the warm and comfortable confines of Instagram Live. I remember when this show was knee-high to a grasshopper. I remember thinking, I'm going to give this a try. And then I thought, I will do it again the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that. And then what happened? I was a trendsetter. All these other shows began, and they went away like a big, fat fart in church. And right now, I am basically walking on scorched earth. I'm like Mad Max, walking around, looking to claim whatever I can. And what is it that I want to claim? Well, it's viewers, it's fans, it's an audience. And hopefully, we will have one this coming Saturday, March 25th, 2023. Two shows in one night. 8 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. It is at home with James, live and in person at Montreal Improv, where we crown the first ever Mr. At Home, a full-blown beauty pageant for studs, duds, and everything in between. But you can't have a celebration of an online show without celebrating online. So we do it tonight from where we once came from. We are live. We are on twitch.tv slash at home with James. I want to tell you something right now. The fact that this show began 10 minutes after the nine o'clock hour is truly a triumph of wills. Thanks to our production team. Thanks to our guests. This feels very much like the old days. It is a great mix of the past and the present as it pertains to characters from the at home world universe and legend. It is a zoo in our production call. There are people that I have not seen in a very long time. There are people that I see often. Tonight, we come together to celebrate because we are only three years old. We are so cute. Ooh, I need a bottle. The three-year-olds still have bottles? I would assume so. Three-year-olds are puny and pathetic. They can't accomplish anything on their own. They can't pour themselves a glass of milk But us, turning three years old, we can. We're not going to waste any time. I'm fired up. You're fired up. Let's kick it into high gear. Tonight, we bring on one of the many legends. He is a production director on this show. It's Dimitri Kiras. Dimitri. Hey, James. Dimitri, you're live. You're live from the lab, even though we're celebrating. It's a birthday party. You're working in the lab. We're almost crunch time. This is like uh, Santa's workshop, except if everybody uh, was wearing lab coats and had uh, yeah. PhDs. You know what I'm talking It's about? getting tight. Ooh, we're close. It's getting tight. Ooh, we're close. I can almost taste it, James. Are you excited? How are those pit stains doing? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'm very moist right now. Yeah, I bet. I can tell. Yep. That, that, I can see that shirt's barely holding on. That fabric is doing the Lord's work right now. Yeah, all my uh, muscles and pecs and lats and delts, they're going to shred this shirt from within. I'm surprised you know the name of that many muscles. Why is that? James, the show is on yeah. Friday. No, it's Saturday. The it's show's Saturday. on Saturday. The show's on Saturday. All right, everybody, get in the, get in the gear. Get in the gear. The show's yeah, on you're, Saturday. Yeah, your lab technicians have an extra day. I promised that day off, so they're gonna they're gonna riot in a second. We're barely holding on here. There's a yeah. mutiny, a mutiny yeah. on the horizon. You have been here. working tirelessly, as well as Whoop. all of your lab technicians. Who do we have working tonight? Oh, we've got uh, Cassandra, Jeremy, uh, Beth, Gusev, and Maronica. Yeah, where where'd you find uh, Gusev? Gusev? Yeah. He came very highly recommended on Craigslist. He was Craigslist. on a mail, mail, mail order website. Look, he is smart, but he is also very buff. The two All right. are not related, okay? But he is very buff. Mm-hmm. Would you like to see? Uh, no, I'm fine for okay. now, but All maybe right. later on. Maybe Who's later there? on when we're talking about studs. Ooh, I can't wait to talk about studs, but that's not why we're here, James. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you sent me a production note earlier today saying there's something very important that we have to discuss, and I don't know what this is. This is not hyperbole. I don't know what we're talking about. Listen, something happened last episode 
that I think shook us and the people at home. Right. We've been building up this show as a momentous occasion. It is the Re Mount Rushmore of shows yep. that this city has ever seen. And, and you can't put a Mount Rushmore together without a select few people. Some are here tonight. Some will be there live. But there's one face etched in that rock. We will not right. have that face. And that face right. was George Kiris. Yeah, we called your dad on the phone last week to cordially invite him to be part of the live celebration on Saturday. We called him live. Yeah, we did it live. Uh, he let us know he broke the news he'll be in Florida, which was very disappointing. Someone in the chat mentioned you can see James's heartbreak. And you were. You were visibly heartbroken. Yes. I had forgotten he was taking a vacation. And here we are. We don't yeah, have... Yeah, Dimitri, y'all say this. It must be nice to even have a dad that you can forget about going on vacation. It's true. But James, what I want to give you is hope. Mm, okay. Like you've How? given us these past three years. I want Please. to give you a shining Please. hope, a ray of sunshine. Because not only are we not going to have George Kears that yep. night. But not only that, I've got an extra special surprise for you, James. Okay. Well, let's just say uh, I've been doing some business and I've been learning from the best. James, okay. we don't have him for the live show, but we do have him for the online show. I want you to put oh my God. a big round of applause for the man. It's George Kier. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. George, this is. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, can... baby, yeah. <laughs> we, can't, we, can't, we can't play the whole song, Dad. Yeah, we we're gonna get, play the whole song, we're George. Gonna get we're gonna get uh, busted for copyright infringement. James, James, I need you to open the show with this. Yeah, I, I, I am. I am not allowed due to uh, YouTube and Twitter. You're not allowed, but it's yeah. it's not you. It's me. <laughs> Dad, you gotta turn down the song. We're gonna get caught. Yeah, yeah, we, uh... we can't play that song. But this is George. This is why you're here because you're injecting the life tonight that you would have in person on Saturday, where we can play as much ZZ Top as we want. No, it was it was basically I wanna I wanna start the show with something that's gonna rile up the the crowd. Uh, start yeah. the show with you uh being in center stage okay yeah. uh, from laval to uh, to the south shore to, and everything in between all right and i think i i did a lot of research on yeah. what would work okay and and i think lagrange zz is top is zz top lagrange, lagrange. uh it It's got a lot of kick. It's got a lot of punch. I didn't know about that. It's got a lot of kick, Dad. We, we, it's got a lot of kick. I didn't know you knew how to play the guitar. Oh man, I was playing the air guitar. And the thing is that I, I wanted to I wanted to intro the show. Yeah. With ZZ Top today, and 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 have James go go on his opening monologue, and 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 we and we wanted I you know I I you know. Um, uh, I also had I also had um, uh, ACDC lined up. Yeah. Okay. Was it fun? I had ACDC lined up, and and you know I thought it was a little bit too intense. You know, yeah. I would have hell. Um, it might not have worked as uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, thunderstruck. Yeah. High yeah. would have hell. Well, yeah, you. It would have rocked. It basically, saying the show, the show, the show needs to begin with the oomph. It needs to begin with an explosion. Yeah. It, so yeah, it has to. So, so dad, and, and you know what, because you go into your spiel afterwards mm -hmm. and, and things kind of like, you know, kind of mellow out and we get into yeah, the that's thinking true. and talking. So, uh, you need that little injection of, of adrenaline. All right. To, to, to kick up the, uh, the, the blood and make it, make everybody just get ready for a, for a that's rip fair. Yeah, that's a valuable note. Yeah. Let me write that down. And as I write this, yeah, down, rip roaring. you got to get everybody to, up, you know, up to here. Okay. Yeah. So it's gotta, it's gotta be like this. It's gotta be. With James, without James. Mm. With James, without James. With James, without James. There you go. So I think I understand. Uh, so, 
so basically, basically what what uh, what we were talking about with Dimitri is that uh, we want to we want to animate you a little more. Just okay. A well, Not Dimitri, much. can, can, can you speak to this? Well, well, James, you're great. It's been three years, and you know my my dad is a respected radio DJ. He has many years on the air, off the air, in the air as a pilot. This man knows air. He knows okay. a lot of things, and I brought him on because, of course, we can for the live show. But he's very knowledgeable, right, Dad? Well, you know what? Uh, I, I I've been around radio for a while, but uh, but and this was way back when I was you know uh, you know James's age, and and I was doing some top thirty radio back then. And, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, you know, little uh, dings and dangs that, uh, that mm. can go along to like dings make spruce dings. up the, 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 the Okay, show. well, let me write that down. So, dings yeah. and dangs. Okay, if, if you got that. some like hip fire things that James could use, Dad, for the live show, yeah. that'll really take his show to the next level because it needs okay, to be Okay, so this here. is basically, if I'm understanding correctly, a tutorial to get me ready for Saturday. It's boot camp. Possibly, yeah. But here's 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 a, how I opened up my show. It was it was something like this. Okay, you ready? Okay. All right, hold on. Hold on. You ready? This is. Mm -hmm. Hey, for all the truckers pushing a big seven zero of that northbound ninety eight, trying to get all them goodies on time for supper tomorrow night, you got a big ten four from. At home with James. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, so I got going. yeah. I'm as opposed to speaking to everyone. Maybe I speak to a certain sector, perhaps the dings and the uh, dangs. We want we want you to speak to everyone. Okay. okay, that's the whole idea. Ratings is a good thing in yeah. radio. Okay. Um, hey, for all the toe tapping, shoe stomping, and hand clapping kind of music, you got to tune into at home with James. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So all right. Yeah. You got to write yeah. this stuff down, James. What, what are you I'm doing? writing it yeah. down. Toe tapping, shoe stomping, and hand clapping. Okay. Toe tapping. That's what we're gonna do here today. We're gonna toe, toe tap, shoe stomp, and hand shoe clap. Shoe stomping. Shoe stomping, hand clapping, and and uh, and uh, what is it? Shoe stomping, hand clapping, basket weaving, and toenail clipping. If you want to, okay, so how about this yeah. one, Dad? I got one for you. If you want to see, touch, feel, <laughs> come on down at home with James. What do you okay, think? so 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 some kind of like speaking in slogans, so to speak. Yeah, kind of like you know, like get the get the get the the, the lingo going. You know okay, I mean? right. Because you form your words really well. I understand well, you. everything you say. Everything that comes out of you is perfectly rounded off, and it, I hear everything you say. Everything yeah. is clear and crisp and clear. But sometimes, if you're too crisp and clear, mm. and people can hear everything you say, and they don't, they they can't miss anything. They won't listen yeah. as as intent. Right. You see. But if you're like uh, like bopping along and uh, you know people got you know what, what right. did I miss that? So you're, you're saying yeah. that James needs okay. to slur his words a little bit. He needs to get a little drunk. Yeah, just kind of like you know like make it more like uh, uh, kind of like um, uh, you got you got to keep going with the words, uh, uh, not as rounded. I think I think you you're you're a good uh, host. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. That's a but you're not a ten forty. You're not a uh, no a top thirty DJ. Uh, and it's true. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not over here saying, "Hey, folks, we're here for a night at two tapping, foot stomping, and toenail clipping goodness." Ooh, <laughs> baby. Right. <laughs> Ow. <Ooh. Boy. laughs> All right. So, so get some sound effects in there, like. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, hold yeah. on. Yeah. Could you, could you have any notes for James on that on that line yeah. that he just delivered? Any, any, uh, yeah, we, we got to just, we just got to get uh, uh, a nice opening, uh, crazy dialogue. And, and then, and then, and then we go into like, you know, the, the, uh, the level off. And, well, let's, and let's, we go into the show. let's practice one right now. Can you give right. James a line of dialogue that yeah. he could say, and maybe you could give him some tips yeah. on how to say it for yeah. the live show. Uh, live dialogue. I don't know. I, I I like my trucker thing. You know, for all the truckers. Uh, all right. Well, you know, James, maybe you like to talk to all the truckers, but I, yeah. I don't know. The truckers are rolling down the highway, doing like a hundred miles an hour. And now, how about this? How about this? Now, yeah. this one goes out to all of our truckers who were riding the highways and byways late at night. A piece of advice from your old pal James: If you're drinking and driving, be careful, because we wouldn't want you to spill your beer. There you go. You see, all right. there's a nice, there's a nice opening monologue. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now that we got the monologues out of the way and we got the, <laughs> uh, and we got the, the opening uh, uh, yeah. show uh, uh, started, 
uh, yeah. with uh, with some of the biggest bands in history. Yeah, uh, ZZ Top, and uh, you know, uh, we should uh, now move on. What okay, are, what are we moving on to? Yeah, Dimitri. Well, now is the content of the show. James needs to interview people, Dad. What do you think are some good questions you could ask people? Okay. You know, and what makes a great interview host? You love Jimmy Fallon. What do you love about yeah, Jimmy well, Fallon as a host? You know, I grew up with, uh, you know, uh, with a lot of good hosts. R Rodney Dangerfield was one of them. Mm -hmm. Great comedian. Um, great lines. Great one-liners. What, uh, what did John Rodney Carson, used to say? Carson. Oh, man. I wish I recorded every every show from Carson. Mm -hmm. It would have been, I could have picked up a lot of stuff from there. Um, uh, Fallon is great. Uh, there's uh, James uh, uh, Cordaire. Uh, Cor Cora there, Cora there, something. Corden. Like that. It's, it's some kind of friend. Corden. I'm sure. Yeah. 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 James Corden is great, but uh, you're you're distinct. You you've got your own style. You got your own uh, way of, uh, of. Well, some uh, people say that I sound a little too crabby, George. They say I sound crabby. Crabby. I don't. I don't think it's crabby. I think Thank you're you. you're very pointed and yeah. very rounded with your yes. with your uh, with your communication skills. Which is yeah, great. It, it works very, for the show. It's a very matter of fact type of way. Okay. Okay. Whatever works. I yeah. mean, as long as people are there and we're listening to the show, and we're we're tuning in, and that's mm -hmm. really what counts. And and uh, and I'm just hoping that this show grows by leaps and bounds. As do I. I would not. Because I th and I think you're helping do that. Because right now our chat is on fire with compliments for you, George, coming from Farm Boy. This person Come writes, in, in relation to you, quote, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> That's you. That's high praise. From the real Andrew Mackay, this person writes, quote, George is a god amongst men. <laughs> no one has ever said that about me once in the chat. Well, there you go, because you don't open your show with ZZ Top. Okay. Uh, so, so, DC. So, so I basically have to get the rights to use these songs, and then I got to start talking to the truckers. I got to talk about hoe tapping, hand clapping, and toenail clipping. Yeah, tote, yes, hand clapping, uh, foot stomping, -tapping, hand foot -stomping, clapping, -tomping, hand clapping, toenail clipping, and basket, basket weaving. weaving. Basket weaving. I I'm going to so, use this. But you know what? You don't have to ask for rights because basically, if I, if you call, if I'm on the show and I got background music going there, no, that, that, not, this, this is, still works against us. That George. might get us. That might get us banned. But, but uh, yeah, maybe, this, maybe this show needs an edge. Maybe that's what it's missing is an edge. But by the time they catch up to 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 this show, okay, the, the, we're gonna be like uh, 50 years into the show before <laughs> they catch up to us. I love it. Your, my dad's mentality is just dr keep driving faster. They're never going to catch us. Okay. That's right. All right. Yeah. Life in the fast lane. All right. Well, well yeah, dad, they can't catch you. dad yeah. as, as we begin to wind down, I, I have one last question for, for, I want to know what, you know, if you could share some knowledge on this to James, because he's got the opening okay. monologue, he's got the interviews, but, but like this has come up a few times in the chat. You seem so cool, calm, mm -hmm. collected. And after years and years on the radio, what's something that you could tell James, like a mantra yeah. or philosophy to keep him cool because here's the re here's the reality this is a huge deal for james yeah all right there's a lot of people coming to this show they're paying good money there's a lot of lives at stake so wh what can you tell james to keep him cool calm collected what are some mantras that you have in your life um cool calm i i i really believe that uh, that uh, you you always got to be talking to only one person even if there's a million people out there Okay, number one, you got to stay. You got to stay focused on mm -hmm. and believe that you're talking to one person, um, uh, and and you're communicating. Even if you have a live audience, you should be only talking to one person. All right. And and um, the 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 straighter the face, okay, when you're live, the straighter the face, okay, the straighter the 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 calm, just the calm uh, storm. Okay? Yeah. Uh, storm. That's where. That's where. You know, you're going to gain the attention of, the, uh, of everybody. So, and then what you do is you throw in a little bit of shock value. Okay. okay you got to find out how you're going to shock the crowd with something. Mm -hmm. That a straight-faced, you know, regular guy is going to yeah. just like bomb on your head, just like bang. And like, oh, what the hell just happened? Yeah, yeah. What, what did, did this say? guy just hit me with? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it, you okay. just, and keep the straight face. Yeah. Yep. You got to keep a straight face. So you got to drop some bombs when you can. You want to add a shock value in there. You ever do anything yeah, you like that add on the radio? Value. 
Do you ever shock the crowd uh, on the radio? I, I used to. I uh, used to have some good lines where people would just go, wow, what did he just say? Do you, and, do you uh, remember and, any? Uh, I, I not not for uh, not for uh, family oriented radio. Oh, <laughs> all right, wow. <laughs> You're like you teasing us. But uh, but you know if you listen to uh, Stern and and you and you can see where he's coming from. Stern uh, made his career, and and also I want to shout out to Andy Asaf. Andy, I miss you, buddy. Miss you, bro. Man, <laughs> shout out to Andy Asaf, buddy. Andy we will be on the show later tonight. Yeah. On the show tonight. Yeah. You know none of this halfway stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, we gotta go. We gotta go. The, the only way is all the way. You know, and and you know, you if you if you're not you're not supposed to be thinking. You're supposed yeah. to be just like. Well, George, going. you know what I say? This is something I truly say. When you're thinking, you're stinking. Yeah, you know, and that's what happens. Some people come here to, you know, sit and think, and some others come here to shit and stink. So <laughs> it's basically. It's, it's basic, and some of them run out of toilet paper. That's yeah. where it really gets. I, that I Whoa. like. I may, maybe yeah. I got to start saying that on the air. Maybe, maybe some people come here to sit and think, and others come here to shit and stink. Yes, so I like that. That's that's the audience right there. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you I have like the toilet paper coming. Well, I, yeah. I will say this: after this conversation, I feel very. I was already prepared. I feel even more. Pre- I feel supremely prepared for this weekend. That's it, buddy. Just let the vibes bounce off of you. I like it. Like, let, let let the vibes bounce. The They're just bouncing All right. off of you. Let the vibes bounce off of you and just send it back into the crowd. And, ta- and taking a puff of some some something, some kind of herb, wouldn't do no harm either, right, Dad? You know, you know what? Um, uh, it, whatever works for you. Okay. Right. I, yeah, I, I might I might have a cup of coffee before the show. Now you know what you know what I think a couple of hits. Okay, of some sativa. Okay, <laughs> will bring you right into the mellow, into the right headspace. Okay, for the show. Sure. And it's We're not talking about you getting wiped out of your mind. Yeah, I don't want to get know, wiped. Slobbering all over the place. We don't want yeah. you to do that. But I mean, uh, you know, it's it's what all the artists' uh, live shows and artists do. They take two hits of some good sativa, and they, right. and they, and you go on air, and it's not enough for you to lose your mind. It's just. It's just enough for you to loosen your mind. Okay, so I got to find a way to loosen my mind. Well, look, loosen I have to up. say this is uh, this is very helpful. This conversation has loosened me up, Dimitri. I have to thank you for ordering this. This is a great this is a great birthday surprise. I hope mm-hmm. I hope I hope that this uh, has served you well, George. Again, Dad, he's a he's a fountain of knowledge. He knows it all. He's been around. He's said it all. He said everything. So I hope you know you're able to get some of this knowledge and retain it, James. And I hope it serves you well for the live yes. show. Yeah, Dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any, any final Good luck words? in the live show. Congratulations. Thank you, George. I appreciate it. And wow, man, it's like I I can't believe that I'm not going to be in town. I would 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 have, you know, like love to be there. It well, you know, this just means fun. we're going to have to do another one. I I'm hoping, you know, that that I'm able to get in and I'm able to be, you know, uh, uh, in 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 the same room as as James at home and 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 really taking the whole thing and 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 just drive and have a great time that night. We're, we're gonna make it happen. I'll start. I'm gonna book the next show tonight. Oh, oh is that's he great. An announcement. Yeah, stay tuned. Whoa. Okay. Stay tuned, Dad. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for being on the show. Love you lots. I'll talk to you soon, buddy. Have fun on Saturday. We'll Thank you very right. much, George. Much appreciated. All right. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. money. <laughs> there you have dollar, it, folks. Dollar, Dimitri, dollar. that was very special to me. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome, James. I'm not on the air anymore. We're going to keep the show moving. Oh, you took yourself off the air? All right. Well, I thought you were saying, I guess it's just me. We'll keep things moving along. It wouldn't be a three-year anniversary without a little tech blooper, blunder, and boner. Let us welcome... Our next guest, it is now time for a wonderful little panel discussion. Two people that were, I kid you not, recently voted the two horniest guests in at-home history. Please welcome Raquel Belmonte and Steph Mercier-Boyer.
Okay, fine. I'll show you guys the piss machine I have on. <laughs> Butterflies in yeah, my wow. chest. Oh my God. I'm charging my bladder. Trust your words because you know me best. Let's take a walk down. My whole ass is showing. Otherwise, I, I'd pull it up higher. I, uh, I didn't think it could get more uncomfortable than only Steph doing uh, that very special dance that we have grown to know and love over the years. And then we found a way to outdo ourselves with the Raquel you jumping on board and keeping the dance train moving. Uh, Steph, first and foremost, long time no see. Thanks so much for coming back. A true foundational pillar of the at-home world. Thank you so much for having me. It's crazy. Three years. Three years. You were on episode one. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah, think right. We, we didn't know oh. where the world was going to take us. You had a weekly segment called COVID-69. I think I said on that segment some of the dirtiest things ever said in the entire world. Yeah, yeah. You really uh, awful. You uh, you you once accused me of refusing to <laughs> uh, wear condoms during uh, sexual <laughs> intercourse. And you bring that up a lot. Yeah, because you know what makes me <laughs> think. You know what, uh -oh. Raquel? Words words hurt and they stay with you for a long time mm -hmm. that was the first think, of many moments in which i felt slandered on the show i think i also said that you sit on your hand before you touch yourself yeah there was there's was many things uh, dave would yeah. uh at the end of every segment tell me to stop spending all of my money on prostitutes <laughs> uh, i'd like to imagine that we're in a world now where where no one makes uh, false accusations of me on this program I, I have grown a lot and I would never dare to say anything like that anymore. I actually read some of my notes from previous shows. Wow. Now, now, now this is interesting, right? Because Raquel, Steph is before your time on the at home world. Would you like to hear some of uh, Steph's notes for what would go into her weekly COVID 69 segment, which feels like a lifetime ago now? I would love nothing more. I want to feel, I want to take me back, Steph. You walked yeah. till I could run. I had nothing without you. Right. Without COVID-69, I wouldn't just talk about regular 69. So talk <laughs> yeah. about it. We had, uh, I don't know the, I don't remember the context for this, but we had members of the CBC and the CBC stood for Co Coalition of Big Cops. Yes. yes yeah, um, this, is, uh, this is when you were being uh, hunted down by the CBC. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did that one from from my car. I was yeah. driving, yeah. doing uh, the show. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah. yeah. being chased. Uh, there was best places to eat ass in space. Mm -hmm. uh, that was an iconic. That's when you were one. dressed like an alien. Yes, yes, I painted my face green. Yeah, that was that was during, that was a, that was a, a very early episode Alien Night. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, what else was there? There was one where I moved back to my parents' place and there was all of my childhood toys. And I think I sat on Tickle Me Elmo. And, yeah, you were using um, Tickle Me Elmo as a sexual pleasure device. Yes, and many other toys that I, there was a Furby that would uh, yell insults at me. Yeah. Um, uh, slap bracelets to spank myself. Um, yeah, a super soaker. Anyway, <laughs> and we uh, can't forget about all of your outfits when you dressed as a dirty nun or you dressed as dirty Santa. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Dirty nun was good. I forgot. Yeah, about now, that. I think I was just wearing a, a, a pillowcase. Yeah, wrapped around my head. Yeah. Now, Raquel, uh, you mentioned that uh, Steph uh, Steph paved the way for you know your sensibility on this show. Perhaps what does it yes. feel like to hear all of this stuff? Because then you came in later on. Right, and you participate in a variety of other filth mongering segments. Um, yeah, you you played a very uh, a, a a busty uh, psychic, uh, a busty doctor. If you thought the psychic was busty, that's on you. Uh, there was, also and you have to you got some thinking to do. <laughs> you, hor you, you horny little you, guy. You were also a contestant on Dave Kaufman's Naughty or Nice. Yes, and I won something, didn't I? Probably not. I probably you, wanted uh, to. You talked about your uh, sexual attraction to a, a home hardware employee. Yeah, you're talking about new stuff. If you go way you back, about, my you first about thing... the, uh, the the guy you lost your virginity to, who had what you called a micro penis. Okay, well that was true. <laughs> I wish it made that sound. Um, 
what else did I did a Zac Efron thing? I did cartoon characters I wanted yeah. to fuck. What else? Yeah, I don't know. I you really you let know, me have it. We are really taking a trip down memory lane. But what I wanted to do is sort of like talk about the present because I don't know if there were two better people to talk to about this topic because this coming Saturday, we're having the Mr. At Home pageant where we crown, of course, the first ever Mr. At Home. And Raquel, you were announced uh, late last week as one of the judges for this Beautiful. competition. What an honor. I am I'm going to come in hot. I'm telling well, you that much. I am I, not going to judge uh, nicely. And, and nor should you, right? Nope. And I don't think I don't think Sid is going to judge nicely. So you know, maybe this is just a kind of a murderer's row of judges, yep. Steph. Because you can't be here. I feel like if you were here, you would have absolutely oh. either been on this panel or you would have done a segment where you were gyrating, maybe too close to me. <laughs> I would have loved to be there. So, what's the format of the Mister at Home? Well, basically, it's going to be an evening long competition broken up into stages. Of course. There's what I'm beginning the show with, the parade of men, Ooh. where each and every man introduces themselves, strikes a pose for the people that advance on to the next round. Well, of course, it's the talent competition and talent portion. Mm -hmm. And then the closing portion will be the question and answer period, as well as closing remarks. So what I wanted to do is walk both of you through some of the contestants. Great. Ooh. See how you think Ooh. they would fare. We did this with Sid last week. So we're going to start off hot, so to speak. Okay. Um, a couple weeks ago, Joe Conto confirmed his entry into the pageant. Steph, you know, Joe, how do you think Joe is going to fare? How would you maybe judge Joe on the surface? I think Joe's going to do great. He has Joe not done great historically in competitions on this show. Yeah, but that's because it's not in person. Hmm. Joe's presence in person can crush anyone's presence. Okay. Um, I think I think he's gonna crush the walk. The walk through. I think that's gonna be amazing. Joe once did this thing in one of the, in in a class that made me laugh that I had to leave the room, and he just it was just him walking into the room in a character and I just, mm -hmm. I lost it and I had to leave. So I think he's going to crush that. Okay. So you think he'll um, fare well? Yeah, I think he's going to crush. Raquel, what about you? You've come to know Joe on this show. How do you think Joe will do in the Mr. At Home pageant? Look, I didn't know Joe was going to be part of it, but now that I do, I think he's going to go all the way. He has potential. Okay. Joe fucks. And I say that with love like that. He, that guy fucks in like a cool way. And I think, I think the part he's going to crush is the question and answer part. Mm -hmm. That's if when he he's going to. If he makes it that far. Well, I think he will because he's going to show pure sex for the first two rounds. And then the third yes. round, it's going to be show like. Some PS. P oh, P yes, pure sex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I really think he's going to tug on our heartstrings with those questions. I really do. Okay. He's a teacher. And he so he's smart, I'm sure. Okay. He has good stories. Um, Forgive me, what's the second round again? I second forget. round is the talent portion. Talent. It could be anything? Anything. Anything. Mm. He seems like the kind of guy who could like secretly sing really well. And he I'm might. hoping that's what okay. it is. So you're saying Joe has a good shot. I want to move on to someone that Sid last week, again, another judge, has predicted will win the entire thing. How do we feel about Mark Rowland, Raquel? This time, let's start with you. I I I have mixed mixed feelings, mixed thoughts. He could either take it all the way or be eliminated after that walk. It really Whoa. depends how he steps on that he stage. Is very Agreed. physically inclined. Very physically inclined. I, but maybe but too I think physically that's a strength. Inclined. Exactly. I think that could kill him in the first round because I think it might come across as not being genuinely oh. PS. You know? Yeah. I think it might be too, lean too much towards a character. And yeah. people are not going to believe that he's actually pure sex. Now, now I yeah. want to be clear here. We have to know that we're not scoring these guys just on pure sex. <laughs> well, that's I think we should. Yeah, I think I that's think, what I think we're going to have to revisit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, I, I want to throw this one into the mix. Uh, Vance Gillis has also confirmed his entry into the competition. Steph, you're familiar with Vance. What do you think yeah. about his chances? Got great eyebrows. I think I think the walk. I think he's gonna do great. The talent, the talent, like famously not a talented guy. What? So I think he's gonna. Oh <laughs> <God>. <laughs> okay. I think he's gonna struggle with that one. Oh. 
All right. My turn. Yep, your turn, Raquel. Look, I think Vance is a lovely person. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I want to see him sexualized. I don't know if I can now, do that. Now, personally. again, this is this is your criteria here. If yeah. we're going to score it on a variety of things, pure sex is not one of the categories. That's not fair. I'm flying all the way to Montreal from Toronto, Ontario, mm-hmm. to judge a competition that I thought was going to be based on PS. Mm-hmm. I think you should, I think you need to, you should know, you should have known who you asked. Okay. Anyways, fair Vance, enough. I think Vance has a uh, potential to go all the way or he's going to get, he's just going to get stuck in like the second round. Okay. We're going to think, oh, he's doing well. And then it's going to be one of those, like, he just, he makes a tiny little mistake and okay. we all can't get over it. That's fair my, it's my guess. I want to move on to uh, one final competitor who's currently watching in our chat right now. He's also confirmed his entry into this pageant. It's Thomas Barnwell. Ooh. Steph, let's go to you. He wins. You think Thomas Barnwell takes it? Thomas is it because he's got all... dad energy? Is it because yeah. he's a daddy? Yeah. Yeah. He's got the daddy PS energy. And I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, no one can compete. Uh, mm-hmm. His kids are going to be in the audience. Are it's, they? It's, it's Wait, well, gonna... How do you know this? They should they be. Will. They should they look, will. they should, they should celebrate that their dad fucks. I yeah. think, I think, okay, listen up, Thomas, I'm on your side. Don't, don't fuck this up. Well, You're he's, Ill. he's just commented in the chat. Uh Oh, he writes. And I quote, some people got it. Some people don't. I got it. Raw sexual energy. Raw. Oh, that's exactly go. what it is. Raw. Here we go. The real Andrew yeah. McKay writes Barnwell with the BDE, Big Dad Energy. Yep. <laughs> and that's what's going to yeah. take him all the way. Well, I, I want to continue chatting about this. Uh, Steph, I want to go to you again. You won't be there. What would you want to see out of all of these contestants? Because right now, I can confirm to you that there are 15 men confirmed for this pageant. <laughs> what would you want to see? And moreover, what would you like to tell the guys that are going to be participating what you believe they should do in order to claim victory? Sorry, I'm just checking if there's any last minute flights I can get on for Saturday. Did you say 15 guys? Yeah, there's more to be confirmed. 15? What more? 15? Steph? Steph, quit yeah. your life and come judge this competition. What Steph is, is uh, Chef Sweat. I think Steph I is could make it. There. <laughs> are you saying there's 15 guys with, with with potentially pure sex energy that are there's, gonna and there's the there, are, there are more to be confirmed the goal is 20 men um 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 i mean that alone okay what i expect i sorry my brain just got all yeah, yeah. Well, what what I advice 20 men in one room this? Um, what, what advice would you give to these guys who are looking to Okay, claim- I would say I would say confidence. Mm-hmm. Confidence is key, but not too much. Not too much. I don't want I don't want someone who's like cocky. Um and I want someone to surprise me with a little goof. You got to have that little goofy side, but it's got to be genuine. It can't be put on. Um so it's kind of something you're born with. Mm-hmm. So if you if you don't have it then then you're out obviously. Yep. Um show a little skin okay now i will Never say this. Anyone? there are also power lifters entering this competition Whoa. there are pro wrestlers entering this competition it's, the, the it, thing that you didn't tell me about this until now is offensive to me it's offensive uh, well i apologize and i acknowledge my my hurt that i've caused there's gonna be skin I can tell you for certain, at least one of these competitors will be oiling themselves up on stage. Oh, stop it. No, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm, uh, feel like I'm having phone sex here by proxy. This is like literally everything I've ever Folks, this show is officially in heat. I feel sick. Yeah. I didn't know there was going to be actual, like, Yeah, yeah, drink thugs. up, Steph. Yeah, yeah. Hoof. Hoof. James. What are you okay, doing? Okay, so there's going to be oil on men. Well, yeah. um, that person wins. They might, yeah. Okay, well, Raquel, let's go to you. What advice do you have to the men who are going to be participating? Steph put it quite well, right? You got to be confident, but not cocky. You have to be a little bit of a goofball, right? 
Yeah, Don't yeah. Get a skin. Look, boys, I, I want you to know who you are. I want you to not only exude confidence, but show me a little bit of you. Could you, I don't know, maybe pick me up and throw me into a wall? Could you, I don't know, uh, be so mean to me, but you're so hot, it doesn't matter. Could you open a jar for me? Could you do all these things? This is what I'm going to be considering when I look at you. I need to know that you can handle the title of Mr. At Home. Right. And if you can throw right. me into a wall. Now, these are the questions you might be able to ask. Steph, is there anything else you want to add to that? Right, Raquel at, put well, it quite aptly, throw her into a wall. In well, like a sex way too, not like a, not like a throw me, but like a, hey, let's see where this goes. Yeah. I want to know if after you throw me into the wall and you've created a massive hole, can you patch that wall up and sand it paint over it and make it seem like it never happened and then we can do it all over the next day you know wow i yeah. want to know that you can so, be at home and do at home projects you're, yes you're, you're looking for a real man's man yes yeah. hang up all the pictures yeah. i've had sitting on my floor for months fix yeah. my drywall fix my what are those things called on the uh, crown molding I know yeah. what that know what crown molding is yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Label I, my washing machine and then throw me on it. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Break it well, and fix it. That's, before, before, yeah. that's before we the move work. on to our, uh, our next guest, um, who is quite a man. I'm curious to know what advice would you have for people that are, are going to get cut early on? Cause we're, we're going to cut, we have to cut people early on for the, the people that will most certainly not even come close to being Mr. At home. Steph, let's go to you. Um, I think to those people, I want to tell them it's, it's not about you, but maybe take a good hard look at yourself in the mirror and figure out why you're the problem in the situation. Yes. Why you couldn't I, be. I, 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 I think that's very apt. I think that's apt. Raquel, how about you? Look, I'm not going to say don't give up hope. Keep going. I'll be the judge of that. I think some people should give up and stop you know, doing their thing. So just know, know when enough is enough and know when to continue. If you're super hot, just keep going. Maybe it's just not your time yeah. now, but it will right now you might not be the type of person that can throw a woman through a wall and then yeah. pack it up with, with uh, caulking and such. Yeah. yeah. But maybe, yeah. Look, I wish, I wish we had more time to do this. Raquel, I will see you in a few days. You'll be visiting Montreal, not only for the at home show, you'll be in a variety of shows Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Raquel is coming to Montreal. Steph, yeah. when can we expect a visit from you? Oh, wait, okay. I'm coming at the end of May because I have my book launching. Oh! Wonderful. Let's let, let people know where you can pick up this book and what this book is. Uh, this is salad, pizza, wine. Oh, the spine is green, so it's leaking into the background of my <laughs> green screen. Uh, salad, pizza, wine. It's the Elena cookbook that I wrote. And three years ago, I think I promoted the whatever PDF that we had launched mm -hmm. to support restaurant workers. On I remember show. when you were telling me about the inception yeah. of this book in a park during the COVID time. Yeah, and three years later, we have an actual book with recipes and photos of me all over. Hell yeah. Because I take the photos. Congratulations uh, on the publishing stuff. That's super duper. Thank you. It comes out May uh, 23rd and uh, you can buy it wherever books are sold. I think well, I hope that we can make this happen on this show uh, a little bit more than uh, once a year. If we can make yeah. that happen, Steph, I would love it. I don't yeah, even remember the last time you were here. I, I think it was after I uh, did a segment about Army Hammer be being a cannibal. That was a great uh, one. Before, yeah. I remember you were like, I'm not sure I should have done that. And I thought, don't worry. No one will ever remember it except for you. And here we are. I was correct. <laughs> and, and things have turned out worse than just those cannibal jokes. So, Well, uh, hey, this is maybe this is a perfect way to end on for the potential at home contestants. Don't eat women. Yeah. No cannibal anyway. stuff. Uh, well, well, maybe we'll <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll leave it open to interpretation. With consent. With oh, consent. Yeah. yeah consent just, is everything. Yeah. yeah. Consent. And that's is the everything. whole part, a little part. Steph and Raquel, bit. thanks so much for being here. I wish we could go longer, but the show's slated to end in five minutes. It won't. So we're going to move on ah. to uh, someone that you both might be interested in. Uh, Steph, uh, Raquel, take it away. Ooh, I took it off, but guess what I have? Remember the trend, Steph? Like uh, Steph is 
is popping up and down into Raquel's ass. <laughs> <laughs> they a framing. I Thanks so much, wish. Steph and Raquel. Oh, Have a good rest of the night. Bye. Butterflies in my not crazy, chest. right? It really looks like, like Steph was going that up that and in, up and in, as Raquel was uh, bouncing up and down. Folks, you can't have a show as big as this without a number of returns. This person has not been here in over a year, arguably the most popular guest in the history of this show. This man has gone AWOL. He went MIA. We have not heard from him. We have not seen him. I'm going to tell you right now, he doesn't look healthy. Let's please welcome the one and the only Connor Rose back to the show. Connor, welcome back. This is new walk, walk on music. Hi, James. How's it going, buddy? Pretty good after that last segment. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> yeah. What were your favorite parts, Connor? Uh, I like the dancing. Which parts about the dancing? Especially when you were talking about Steph's bum. Oh, sure. Yeah, I, I think I was talking about Raquel's bum. Yeah. I think you may yeah. have just outed yourself there, Connor, about what you were looking at there, buddy. That's okay. Look, Connor, you've been on the show before. Everyone knows you're a bit of a ladies' man. It's okay, right? Look, Raquel and Steph were talking about what they're hoping to see for men. You know, it's okay. You know, let your let your freak flag fly. All right. Hey, James, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing great. I uh I've got a lot of questions and the first one is are you like okay? Oh, uh, yeah, it's you know, it's been a challenge for sure this past yeah. year. It's been a year, man. I know. James, I'm really sorry. I feel like I kind of let you down. Yeah, yeah, we we miss you. We we thought you were dead. No. Would you like to expand on that? No, yeah, I've just been uh, I've been really busy with uh, Connor Jr. What? Co Connor Jr. My... Okay, so Connor Jr. When anyone else would say that, I think, oh, this person had a child. Are you telling me that you are now a dad? Yeah, uh, sort of. It's kind of complicated. I don't know if you remember my ex-wife Cordelia. Uh, yeah, the one that made you sleep out on the porch. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, well, I I don't mean to open up old wounds. Um, okay. I remember I remember you stood up to her and she was hanging out with her cousin Rolf, which was actually just another uh, person that she was sleeping with. James, I think you do mean to open up old wounds. I, I it's not intentional, right? We can get serious on this show. It doesn't always just have to be about Raquel's rear end. Right? Could be, though. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. If you were in charge, it would be, right? Yeah. You're a bit of a hound dog, Connor. Come on. Come on. Let, 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 let's hear that. Let's hear that, that, that bark. Oof. Oh, come on. That ain't, a, that ain't a hound dog. That's a puppy dog, Connor. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Anyways. So, back to what I was talking about. Yeah. Well, it turns out Cordelia was pregnant, uh, oh. and I think, yeah, long story short, I woke up one day to a, a ring of my doorbell, and and then I walked outside, and, and there, there he was. When you say it, what do you mean he, by that? Well, now, when you say he, who do you mean by that? Rolf? The baby. The baby. Oh, no. So uh, a baby was left on your doorstep. Yeah. Didn't have a name, so I named him, and uh, he's been he's been here with me ever since, and that's where I've been this past year. Okay, so you've been raising a child that you is this is this child yours? James, I'd like to think it is. He is. 
but uh yeah as you mentioned you keep saying it <laughs> right it's okay connor man I, I didn't know i didn't know i didn't know he your son connor jr you'd like to think that he is your son but what you know, have you done any investigating? Have you tried to figure out, has there been a DNA test? No, James, those are really expensive. Right. Well, maybe we can lend a hand with that or something. Well, that'd be uh, so great. Maybe yeah. we do an episode about it, right? Connor, you are the father. Yeah, yeah, it'd be great to know for sure, you know, because he doesn't, like, he's got, like, Ralph had, like, a, he had a mole on his face and Connor Jr. has the, has a similar mole. Is that something that can, is that like hereditary that gets passed on moles? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Sure. Okay. Well, take me through what it's been like being a dad. Well, it's, it's hard. It's a, it's a lot, James. So what are some uh, of the challenges? Well, breastfeeding for sure has been uh, very challenging. Uh, haven't quite, haven't quite gotten it you know what I mean it's what it's, do you mean you haven't quite gotten it well I keep doing it you know eight to twelve times a day as they recommend and it's uh it just Connor you you can't do that you don't have the you know equipment what? James one of the things they say about about a breastfeeding person is that they're they need support from the people in their lives yeah and yeah and uh, so I'd appreciate it if you could just offer some of that because you are my best yeah. friend. And yeah, uh, yeah. And I'm trying to support you just by passing on some information that uh, you again. You don't have the equipment, right? Like you know, you know uh, when you're watching like Steph and Raquel dance, like you 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 know you notice some some derriere. Did you notice anything else? I noticed a lot, James. Well, like like what? Their beautiful eyes and their charming smiles. What else? Well, you know their nice juicy lips. All right, you want to keep going down? <laughs> What's the matter? You okay? I just don't know if we should talk about this anymore. Yeah. All right. I think I understand what's happening. Uh, come on, lift that Toronto Raptors hat up. Let's see that face. Um, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that uh, you, you don't, you don't have uh, breasts and you, you, you need those and that part of the, 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 the reproductive areas in order to, you know, lactate and create milk. You don't have right. that. But it doesn't mean you can't buy formula and bottle feed. Maybe you can even buy, you know, an apparatus to simulate it. It seems like it's important to you. I'm not judging it. Yeah, well, that's what, you know, I've kept it alive, him alive this long. Yeah, he, so. he, yeah, you kept him alive. Yeah. yeah. What, you know, what's, what's Connor Jr. like? Oh, he's great, James. You would really yeah. like him. All right. That, that, that's it? That's the breakdown of your son? <laughs> Tell me a little uh, bit. Come on, Connor. We're catching up here. All right. Well, listen. He's uh, he poops a lot, and he all right smiles sometimes. That's fun. Okay. Well, what are some of your uh, favorite parts about being a dad? Uh, well, I'm never lonely. There's always yeah. someone around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, conversation has uh, has improved. All right. But uh, but is I gotta anything, be honest. With is there anything you like to read to your son? Watch on TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we watch um, we watch basketball. <laughs> All right, big Raptors fan. We are the North. <laughs> All right. What else? Um. Jeez, we listen to the radio. We listen to CBC Radio. You listen to CBC Radio with your son? Yeah. Connor, I, 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 I wanna, I wanna say something. I wanna but, say something too to you. Okay. All right. Well, who goes first, you or me? 
Let's let's do rock paper scissors. Uh, on the air. Yeah. We're gonna go and shoot. Yeah. Okay. Rock paper scissors shoot. Scissors cuts paper. It sure does. James, how have you been this past year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been pretty good. You know, nothing really has changed a whole lot. We're still doing the show, Connor. I'm you must back have a working by now. Teaching. What's that now? You must have a girlfriend by now. Nope. Oh, I don't know if in the three years that you've been on the air, I don't know if you've ever talked to me about a girlfriend James well early on early on first couple months of the show hmm. so what have you been doing well I've been uh, doing the show performing more in front of audiences you know back oh, to work good. working a lot more you know, it, must be fulfilling. it is. Yeah. Well, we, uh, we've got a live show happening on Saturday. Did you know that? I heard some mention of it in the last segment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this kind of ties into, uh, what I wanted to bring up before you defeated me soundly at rock, paper, scissors. I feel like you've lost your spark. I feel like the con man is gone. Right now, you're just a family man, which, don't get me wrong, is a great thing. What happened to the con man? James, the guy with a here. twinkle in his eye. Guy with a, here, the guy with a mischievous smile. The guy that dated a mother and her daughter at the same time. I could still do it. Can you? Yes, I can. Let me prove it. I think I have a way that you can prove it. Tell me how. This Saturday, you know, we're having a, a Mr. At Home pageant. Yeah. What if you entered? What if you got on stage with the upwards of 20 other men and you show them what it's like? What if you show them what it's really like? Do you think, do you think I have a chance, James? I don't think you have a chance. I know you have a chance. I want you to get rid of this whole thinking. Because I don't know if you've heard, but when you're thinking, you're stinking. That's a good one. Where's that, where's that, that hound dog from before? Roar! I, no, that's not a hound dog. That's a puppy Roar. dog. I want to know what you're going to say when you step face to face with a guy like Joe, let me hear it. I'm gonna say, Joe, you're, you got nothing on me. Now, what are you gonna say when you step up to a guy like Vance Gillis? Say, Vance, you're, you're a really nice guy and everything, but you're not the con man. Now, what about Thomas Barnwell? You go face to face with him. Oh, James, that's a tough one. What's it gonna be? Step down. Daddy, I'm a, the new daddy in town. Now, what's going to happen when you see Mark Rowland? He's entering? Yeah, he is. Now, are you just going to sit there in a puddle, shaking your head? Or are you going to no. think back to all those times that he said things about you on the show? He stole my bit. Online? Well, that's still up for debate. What are you going to say to him if you go through all the competition and Mark is standing in front of you? What are you going to say? I'm going to say, walk away, little dog. No, that's Big not going to do it. Not to a guy like Mark. you got to find it in yourself, Connor. Because if you say it like that, you know what he's going to do? He's going to pick you up by the head like he's palming a basketball. He's going to lift you and he's going to put you in the trash. So what are no, you going to not- say? No, he's not, James. I'm going to say, no, you're not, Mark. Screw you. Oh, this is what you're going to say? He's going to say, what's the matter, Connor? You're getting mad. You're getting angry. He's going to say, you know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at a puppy dog. No, no, I'm a full-grown, I'm a full-grown male dog. 
and I'm gonna bury you in the dirt. What else are you gonna say? I'm gonna say, where's your hair? What else? I'm gonna say. Cause you're oh, hitting him where it hurts. He's it's yeah. he's getting hit now. Yeah, yeah. How long? How long did it take you to get those muscles? I bet a long time. All right. Well, we'll work on that last one. But Connor, am I hearing right? Are you entering the? You entering? Let's make it official. Connor, you're the newest entrant to the Mr. At Home pageant, competing against hopefully 19 other men. Arf! And you heard you heard what Raquel and Seth were saying about what kind of man they want, right? Yeah. What are you gonna say to them? I'm your man. What else? I, I've got, I've got sex to give. <laughs> That's the Connor that we miss. You know what? I don't think I'm talking to Connor anymore. I think I'm talking to the con man. He's back. Connor, I guess I'll see you on Saturday. Aye, aye, boss. Aye, aye. Private. Thanks, Connor. Thanks. Wow. I think what we've learned tonight is that when you believe in yourself, well, you can really achieve anything, whether it's an intro to an internet show, throwing a woman through a wall for her satisfaction, or entering a pageant with a series of other men, and maybe, just maybe, breastfeeding your son, even if you're not equipped. Folks, we're going to move on to our final guests of the night. You can't talk about at home with James without these two people. Let's welcome Andy Asaf and Dave Kaufman to the show. Welcome to my house. Baby, take control now. We can't even slow down. We don't have to go around. Welcome to my house. This has been a very long night, Andy. We have not seen you in a while. A yes. main stage cast member of the Second City. So my first question is, you think you're better than us. <laughs> I yeah, I do. Dave, ah. you, 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 this guy thinks he's better than us. Uh, how much you get paid? Uh, not nearly enough. There, well, there you go. There you go. Now, Dave, uh, famously, you're rich. Yeah, I'm a multimillionaire. Dave, yeah, yeah, Dave, how much do you get paid? One thousand dollars. <laughs> That's how much we well, get paid. <laughs> Dave is being bashful. Now, Andy, you're coming to us from Toronto. Dave, yeah. you're coming to us back home from Montreal. You were in Mexico. Uh, you're dealing with a really hefty bout of diarrhea right now. That's right, James. <laughs> I've got a nasty case of uh, Montezuma's Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a hot mic over there, Dave. Well, that's... Uh, I was wondering where that came from. Now, we are... Uh, if I farted, it would not end in... Me still remaining on this chair right now. <laughs> it was Dave running out of frame with a, a stain on his pants. Guys, it's three years of this. Dave, we got to go to you first. You were here on night one when you did some very timely stand-up comedy about Hillary Clinton. Yeah, that's right. That's right, James. And uh, Remember any of those jokes? I don't remember the jokes, but the political climate has only improved. Yeah. Andy? You've been here since the beginning of time. You were one of the few people to graduate from guest to employee. Mm -hmm. And then graduate on again. Yeah, back to being a to, guest. To yeah. Back to being a guest and then now, just Andy, not you're gonna appearing sit here, you're for gonna as sit long here as Connor. And tell me that you don't have any appetite to get back in the control center. Uh, well, James, uh, uh, it's sorely needed, clearly, after watching oh. tonight's show after a long a long time away. And, and yeah. if this is the tech zone, let's get into it. I mean, yeah, those... well, Dave, what do you think about some of the adjustments that Dimitri's made? Because look, for for three years, all three of you dating, even back to when it was four of you with Carla, you all had very different styles. Uh, Dimitri's found a style. What do you think about it, Dave? Well, you know, it's a lot of sound effects. <laughs> it's 
So if you're into that kind of thing, I'm sure it's I, I haven't heard one since we started the segment, though. <laughs> well, speaking of this segment, uh, Andy, you brought up the tech zone, and we have uh, we have refurbished an old segment, the tech zone. Dave, I think you've been a part of all of them. You're here to answer some technical inquiries from some of our viewers. Um, I'm curious to know if there's anything that you're kind of hoping to get asked about tonight, things that maybe haven't been touched on in the past. I'd love a good router question. All right. Andy? Oh, um, yeah, I, I think a router question would be really cool. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go to uh, question number one, if you're both ready, which I think that you are. Hopefully, it'll be router-based. First question comes to us from someone named Brett Tarvel. Brett writes, hi, Andy and Dave. How are you both? I hope this message finds you well. I want to get right down to the point. No nonsense, no bull crap. In my life, I have always been a little off center. I do not like to follow trends. In fact, I like to buck convention. This applies to all facets of my life, including web browsing. Lately, I've been feeling like a follower by using Edge, Chrome, and Firefox. I don't want to fall in line with the other sheep. I want to carve my own path. With that said, I am thinking about making the switch to using the Opera web browser. What do you think, and how does it measure up to the other browsing applications? Thanks. And this one uh, comes once again from Brett Tarvel on Twitter. Uh, you can find him at Stop the Steel Seven Hundred. Interesting. Who should go first? Uh, well, Dave, let's go to you. Do you have any experience using Opera as a browser? No, I haven't used Opera, but I do hear that it's uh, extremely good with anonymity. And if you're, uh, you know, uh, planning uh, some kind of uh, overthrow of the government, it's probably the one that you want to go with. All right. Andy, do you have any experience using Opera as a web browser? No, but if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think you'd have to, like, dust off an old copy of Windows 95 to run Opera. I think Opera is still. Like, is it still going? Who is running Opera right now? Dave, do you have any insight on this? Uh, some of my boys. Oh, who are your boys? Just some guys I know. Okay, were they, so were they well, affected from the Silicon Valley bank collapse? Uh, no, these guys. No, these guys do not trust big tech. Good. Well, then it sounds <laughs> like perhaps Opera might be the browser for them as well as uh, at Stop the Steel 700 because you mentioned you can remain anonymous on there. And I guess it's not particularly encrypted. That, I think it is encrypted, James. It is. Excuse me. I'm, yes. I'm mixing up the. It, uh, I, I think the, it depend. It does depend on which router you use, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. Okay, so we did not receive a router question, but we have provided a router answer. The tech bros would use uh, what's it called? Brave browser because you can earn cryptocurrency by uh, using it. Plus, All right, so maybe Brett Tarvel will be brave. Maybe. We've got another question. You ready for this one? Well, Dave, this one looks like it's specifically for you. This one comes from Sylvia on Monkland who uh, has called in from time to time. She's got a crush on Dave. Dave, how would you uh, define Sylvia? Uh, I would define her as a, uh, a wild cat of sorts. All right. Is that Monkland Street? That's yeah. correct. And that's where you live as well, Dave? In the area. Okay. Uh, Sylvia writes, hi, Dave. Long time no speak. This question I might be for Andy, though. It might be, yeah. But it says, hi, Dave. Long time no speak. Sure, he's still out. Well, hold on now. She writes, I see you have a new friend with you. Andy, is it? Wow. <laughs> see? Such Wait, is big... she watch, watching live? I, I, yeah, we just got this. I got oh. the thing. She writes, wow, such big, tall, strong boys. Hmm. Is that, That's is true. That That's, it? That's the end of the message? No, no, there's oh, more. Okay. Um so she far, I'm on board. On, she goes on to write, let's just say that nothing could bring you two Twin Towers down. <laughs> <laughs> also, Sylvia loves using let's just say. Um, she goes on to write, uh, then again, you can both visit my ground zero any night of the week. I digress, she says. Okay. You know, some people uh, rate her a nine out of 11. Sylvia writes, I've been having some problems with my internet connection. 
you see, I am still on dial up and this pesky connection wire is just so, so loose. I'm wondering if either of you could take a walk down the street and help me out by, well, let's just say plugging it in. My setup is located in my bedroom behind the silk curtains and the lotion drawer. Take all the time you want with my modem. Let's just say it's a lot like me. Gracefully aged, but ready to be turned on. Suggestively yours, Sylvia. I guess my one question for Sylvia was would be... Um, Just there, loose wires. Is, is there a bush in this Nile? <laughs> Uh, Andy, any thoughts? Did you like that one, Raquel? <laughs> uh, yeah, Andy, any thoughts about what you can do to help her internet connection? Uh, yeah, I could I could pop by next time I'm I'm in the Monkland area. <laughs> what are you I, gonna do? I, re I really want to see this lotion drawer. <laughs> this drawer is solely dedicated to lotion. Well, Andy, do you have any experience with lotions? Um, I usually go with a Nivea. Okay. Classic Nivea. Uh, I don't Dave, really need to have a whole drawer with different kinds. Dave, how about you? She's working on a modem. She's got a, a 56, it looks, it sounds like a 56K. She's running on dial-up. It's got loose wires. Well, you know, I would uh, probably recommend her to upgrade to a fiber connection. You're going to get a better <laughs> upload and download speed with that. And, uh, you know, you can get a pretty good deal running on one of the uh, major providers like Bell or Rogers. Or you can use one of the uh, recasters like uh, Virgin or what have you. Dave might be having too much fiber lately, though. <laughs> because of my diarrhea. <laughs> Move on to our next question. This one uh, might be a little bit more in your wheelhouse. This one comes from, also on Twitter, Carl Stockard. Uh, Twitter handle, at Carl of Duty. Is that Stalker, like S-T-A-L-K? No, 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 or Stalker. Or it's like Stalkard. Stockyard. S-T-O-C-K-A-R-D. Oh, okay. And is that Carl, Carl of Duty? No, it's D-U-T-Y. Okay. Yeah, Dave's the Carl of Um, Carl writes, Hi, Dave. <laughs> I, I understand that you are both avid gamers. Nice to see fellow brothers in arms on Twitch. And then he put a gun emoji. Sure. As you can tell by my username, I'm a big fan of the Call of Duty video game series. Mm. Most recently, I've been playing the latest installment, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. As avid gamers... Are either of you also playing? If so, please find me on the PlayStation Network at Carl of Duty. On to my question. I'm currently using a PlayStation 4, but I am on the verge of purchasing a PlayStation 5. But I want to weigh my options before I see if it's really worth it. As avid gamers, do you have any insight on what I should do? Signed, locked and loaded 24-7, and then he put another gun emoji, Carl of Duty. Should he buy a PS5? I'd recommend he gets off of the PlayStation ecosystem altogether. There's only been freaks on there that I've known, uh, solely being Mark Rowland. All right. The a lot of, there's a lot, of, still, a lot of slander still playing on Mark PlayStation. Tonight. Well, I don't mean to slander him. He's just yeah, a freak for doing that. All right. Uh, Dave, any thoughts? Uh, you know, you can get a PlayStation 5 or you can get an Xbox One X. Uh, both provide good value. Uh, you're going to get a lot of gaming bang for your gaming buck. So you can't really go wrong. I say go for it. Now, uh, would you play with Carl of Duty? Uh, I don't actually have a PS5, so probably not. No. Andy? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> All right. Let's. We got one more question here. Um, this one from Twitter, no name, just a username, uh, at DB underscore improviser on Twitter. Oh, thought it was going to be Cooper. Yeah, no. Uh, question reads, hey, sending in a question in hopes that one or both of you will be able to help me with my inquiry. As a youngster, I fell in love with films of all kinds, action, adventure, comedy, drama, you name it, and I've seen it. But nothing has ever caught my attention quite like a very specific type of film, the adult variety. As I grew old, so did my interests. During the boom period of The Net, I couldn't get enough. From Kazaa to Torrance to Hub Sites, my thirsts were quenched like that of a runner, swigging from a bottle of water at the end of a long and arduous marathon. Lately, though, my mouth has been dry. <laughs> 
I long for a simpler time when I could pop in a VHS cassette to enjoy the skinema of yesteryear. Take me back, I scream, with the remote in one hand and my member in the other. Is there a question here? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'm getting- I, I'm I hope it never gets to it. This is My tapes are beginning to deteriorate and I'm worried that over time the memories will follow. I am wondering if you might know ways in which or methods that I can convert these treasured gems into digital files. He writes, please, there isn't much time left. So, so th that was a lead up to ask how to digitize VHSs? Yes. Okay. Well, I, I'd start with a good router. All that's right. for sure. Um, but he said tube sites, so he knows about internet pornography. Also, yeah. he downloaded a lot of Kazo, right? Kazaa. Yeah. Yeah. How did he download it? He must have put it onto VHS afterwards. Yeah, he must have. This guy oh, seems no, like he knows more, more about What I take away is he's got a VHS collection that he wants to digitize. Because he misses the simpler times of, as he put it, Oh, skin. got you, because the newer stuff isn't doing it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, there's a machine that you can buy that digitizes VHSs for you. All right. And it, it is, what is it? It's a, it's a digitizer. Like a converter. If, converter. If, he, if he doesn't want it, Dave, if you don't mind me jumping in here, if he doesn't want to make that sort of investment, he could go to, I think Sears still does the digitizing of like home videos. Sears doesn't exist anymore. Sears is gone. Okay. Um, Zellers then maybe. Zellers is coming back. They'll probably. No, uh, Zellers, if, uh, if people do their due diligence and, and read into it, it's just going to be a kiosk inside the bay. Okay. Well, wherever like. Well, you could probably head on go... down to an HMV then and get it done there. HMV's closed. Oh, okay. Well, uh, uh, Sam the Record Man. You know what? A future shop would be good. Gone. Circuit City. We don't have him here. Radio Shack. Dave, you know they're gone. A uh, Super Club Videoton. Gone. Uh, that black box video store in Montreal. What, what noir. Noir. it's been gone for a long time. Microplay. <laughs> Some of those still exist, but I think they're mostly cell phone providers. Oh. It sounds like maybe we can't help DB underscore improviser. I'm afraid to say he might have to start jerking off to some newer porn. I think he just has to let go of the past and let his cock. Yeah. So I yeah. wouldn't go that far, yeah. but let bygones be bygones. Because again, again, that. he wrote, he wrote here, take me back. I scream with the remote in one hand and my member in the other. Yeah. So I think he's just, he needs to really confront the, the face of, of death and of aging and realize that those times will never come back. Trust me. Hey, remember that group Swollen Members? Yeah, of course. You think they're well, still as, around? As we wind down here, Dave, you'll be on hand this uh, coming Saturday night at 8 p.m. Andy, we will miss you this weekend. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I, could, I can't make it, guys. This it well, does sound like fun, but this let, was fun to let, let us know uh, what, what you've been up to and what you will be up to. Um, yeah, we're going to be opening in uh, um, in, I guess, a week and a half at the end of the month, March 30th. Second City is going to be opening up their first review in our new space uh, with yours truly titled Skyline's the Limit, um, which is uh, going to be at one york street their new location and you can catch it anytime after that if you're in toronto ontario and uh dave what do you have going on i'd like to plug my asshole <laughs> <laughs> well that feels like a a perfect uh a perfect time to say goodbye i mean dave we've we've been through this day one you've heard me thank you so many times for all the contributions and uh Andy as well, you have not been without admiration as well as Dimitri. And all of the fruits of our labor come to fruition this Saturday in front of an audience who might not be prepared for what they're going to see. Well, James, before we go, I'd like to extend that thank you back to you. That's why I've, I've dedicated my background to you tonight because I, I think we're that. all very thankful for the last three years of great content. Well, we've done, we've, uh, we've uh, done it together. And this really feels like an old school episode because it's uh, running 30 minutes over. <laughs> Right? But, you know, once in a while. Right, Dave? Once in a while. How, in a how while. has Dave held it in this whole time? Uh, with great difficulty and a lot of concentration. <laughs> well, 
in the name of great difficulty and concentration, uh, I'll let you go, Dave. I'll let you go, Andy, and we'll reconvene at a later date, hopefully for another trivia challenge between the both of you. Oh, I yes. Ooh, I can't wait. I'd Have a good live more. show, everybody. Wish I was Thank there. You, Andy. you too, That's Andy. Break a leg. Andy, and that is Dave. And that is it for our show tonight. Three years online in the can from Instagram to five nights a week to three nights a week to one night a week. If anything, we've been digressing for three years. But as mentioned, as we wrapped up with Andy and Dave, we said it in January. We'll do it live. We're going to do it live. And we are doing it live this Saturday night. The 25th of March, two shows in one night, 8 o'clock, the Mr. At-Home Pageant, and so much more, including pickup tips from local pickup artist Socrates. We also announced today that we will have security keeping the venue as safe and smooth as possible. Local St. Henry Biker Gang, the O. Henrys, will be on hand to give us a hand. Also, 930 interviews, role-playing, as some people refer to it as improv, but also a bunch of us will be performing live at 8.30 on Thursday. You can get basically the pre-drinking done version of coming to see us on Saturday at Variations Mile End. Info and so much more on our Instagram account at At Home with James Show. Until then, to the online viewers that will not be able to join us on Saturday, we appreciate you so very much. We will be back a week from tonight. And if you're going to be there, we can't wait to see you this Saturday night. Until then, I am James. You are you. We were here. Good night. Goodbye. Farewell. And of course, be well. <laughs>